team kill tech. Hello and welcome to the director's commentary for Open Lobby Season 1, Episode 4, Two Tanks. Jesus! Oh my god. Can you guys stop it with the double tank spam? I mean, what the fuck is this game anymore? How did they get two tanks? So, the idea for this episode was a lot of the episodes in season one are very much um, meant for the Halo audience. Like, if you understand the the gimmick of each episode, like the references. So, with episode two, you know, you had, like, um, glitches in the game and, like, you know, how the bubble shield worked. And so, it was... That, that was what that was referencing. And then um, the Ghost Player episode in episode three, that was about referencing like um, gaming myths uh, that players would make up to like scare other players. Um, and then episode one was about, you know, like skill based matchmaking in multiplayer where one team has this player that completely dominates the rest of the of the match and the opposing team can't literally can't do anything because the guy is just outskilling them in every encounter. Uh, so this one was just about like terrible map spawns because um, I remember back in the day and even more so now, whenever I play Halo nowadays, I always notice uh, like the terrible spawns that I get. Like I'll die and then spawn um, right back like five seconds later and I'll just be spawned right in the middle of an encounter again and I'll die immediately because I spawned in the middle of a fucking war zone. <laughs> it's like, it's like, no, like spawn me in a place where I'm not going to immediately get sniped or killed or be put in the middle of an explosion that I did not want to spawn into, you know? So this was kind of about that and how like, uh, so in this episode, whatever they do, they cannot, for whatever reason, spawn outside of their base or anywhere on the other map. They, just, for some reason, they keep spawning there and I thought that was really funny. Um, Cause the idea of just being stuck in this base and you can't go anywhere is really frustrating and I felt like I could um, make a lot of comedy out of that. And initially in the script, I had planned for you to see the perspective of the characters once they leave the base, like when, um, when no scopes leaves the base and then the other two leave the base uh, to make an attempt to escape. Um, I plan to show those sequences outside of the base. Um, but I honestly felt like it was just, it lent itself more comedically if I just continue to show the perspective inside the base and keep all the events happening with inside the base and only show like brief moments of what's going on outside when you see like the tanks shooting at the base or, or in like the final reveal at the very end. Um, but for the most part, um, the entire episode takes place in this one location. And I think as a result, when you hear things happening outside of the base, uh, your mind can kind of put together um, the images um, rather than me showing you uh, what's going on. And I feel like it's funnier that way. Simple. This noob let them hijack our tank. <laughs> I love that camera move too. Like the, the, the whip pan reveal of... Um, of uh, no bull scopes as he's like saying like this new let them hijack our tank like I, I really like that what you better not be talking about me well you're the only noob here genius you were the one in the tank why didn't you do anything genius i can't do anything when i get emp dumbass why didn't you shoot them they killed me with a sniper you idiot how am i supposed to shoot them from across the map well you could have done something like what oh i don't know Maybe killing the EMP guy? Oh, both of you, shut up! My god. Wait a second. Where's the other one? You mean DJ? Yeah. Probably AFK getting yelled at by his mom or some shit. God, I fucking hate this game. Why do I keep getting paired up with this team of idiots? How are we all the same rank? I, 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 I don't know. I just, there's something about these characters I just really enjoy writing for. Like, their, their bickering and banter back and forth is just, it just writes itself, honestly. Like, each person has a has a role to play in the conversation um, that is different from the other. And so, it, it makes for an interesting dynamic from um, the whole, uh, between the whole squad. Uh, and it's just a joy to write for uh, those characters. Yeah. Just keep camping outside our base, assholes. Don't come in and kill us. Oh no, just keep shooting at nothing. 
What a bunch of bitches. They're just gonna wait out until the game's over? Wait a second. Guys, I have a power trainer. Are you serious? Great. Just throw it down and kill us then. No, I can use it to EMP the tanks. Why didn't you say anything? I, I forgot. Just do it. So, um, like I said before, this is, uh, this is the first full episode that I, um, recorded and I put together. Um, you know, I shot the first like minute and a half of episode three. That was the first thing I ever shot. But this episode was the first like full machinima project that I put together. So I was still trying to like, I was still learning all my techniques and like sort of developing like a, a style and, um, certain ways that I could film these things. So, I mean, it does... Um, I, at least for me, I do see a bit of like a, um, a robust version of like what later episodes would look like, like episodes six, seven, and eight. Um, but I mean, I don't think this is bad at all. I think this is really just like a simple, you know, idea, um, and a simple concept, uh, that I think I executed pretty well with some decent jokes. Um, so no, I actually really, I, I actually am really fond of this episode. It's really simple though, so I I don't I don't know if I'll get too much out of this commentary, um, because because it really it really is just like a simple idea, um, but you know sometimes that it's it, not everything has to be a super, um, you know like complicated and convoluted narrative. Sometimes you can just have simple things like this. And it's all like serious, like um, you get like the um, this dramatic ambience in the background uh, with um, no scopes, like doing like a <sighs> and um, and then he, he throws the um, the power drainer. And uh, yeah, it's just like it's meant to be, um, you know, ridiculously over the top dramatic um, for this one bit, you know, because that's supposed to, um, you know, um, it's supposed to elevate the comedy once it's immediately, um, once he immediately dies, you know, when he walks out there. I, I, I like a lot of contrast. I, I feel like that's the best way you get um, a comedic punch is by contrasting um, your comedic punchline with like a very dramatic buildup, you know. Nice going, genius. <laughs> All right, fuck it. Razor, come with me. I got an idea. I'm gonna shoot the tank on the right, and you go and hijack it, okay? Got it. Are you sure? Yeah, man. Don't treat me like I'm one of them. What about me? I can help too. I just love how they say nothing. Like, it's just like, it's a good five seconds before anything happens once we cut to that shot and then nothing is said <laughs> he just charges up the plasma pistol and they both walk out the door <laughs> it's just i think that's really funny Fuck! <laughs> did you get him <laughs> god damn it why do we keep spawning in this fucking base the spawns of this game fucking suck like why just why can't I spawn somewhere else? Anywhere else? Why do I keep spawning here? Why is it that every time I join a lobby, I get fucked over? Why can't I just win a game? Why can't I just play with people that are good on my team? Why do I keep getting paired with these fucking idiots? And where the fuck is DJ Slayer 98? Hey, dumb asshole! Leave my friends alone! I, I, um... I, I think that um, that reverb effect on the voice works. I tried to get like a um, a reverb that wasn't too intense, but sounded as though like the voice was bouncing off of like this um, rocky the like rocky canyon walls. Um, I, I think it works, um, and uh, I like this shot where he's basically like st screaming to the heavens, 
uh, like, where the fuck is DJ Slayer 98? And then you get this shot over his shoulder, um, at a, at a low angle. And, uh, it's like, he's, it's like he's speaking to him, but I also kind of like the, um, the idea that like, like, it's like, it's almost as though like, that's the voice of God. (laughs) And it's just like this super, um, scratchy squeaky voiced kid you know <laughs> like the, the the that shot is really funny to me and you got the sun in the background too it's like super like like ethereal like looking up at god like give me the answers <laughs> i don't know something about it's just funny to me is that no fucking way now blue team why don't you pick on someone your own size So the joke here is that, um, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's obvious, but the joke here is that, uh, so in the game, um, the, the scorpion tanks, um, they shoot like, um, high velocity projectiles that, um, you know, basically meet their target within an instant. Um, and there's very little like, um, you know, bullet drop. Uh, I mean, there, there's a little, there's a little bit of that, but like, it can shoot at further ranges without that much of a drop. Whereas with the Wraith, you kind of have to um, work a bit harder to aim, but it has a greater like splash damage, but it has less overall. Um, it, 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 uh, it causes less overall damage to anywhere where it fires. And so like the, I, the, the joke here is that, you know, um, he tried to arc it uh, in a way where it, it would reach the tank but um, it just didn't make it far enough. And so, like, you get that shot where it just explodes right in front of it. And then... <laughs> I love how you can see in the background just the um, the guy in the tank, like, looking down at the explosion. like, And then you get the... Uh, you cut to this, like, I guess, medium shot of the tank and the player. <laughs> he just, like, looks up, like... Um, well, that just happened. <laughs> and then you get the shaking of the other player. Uh, yeah, that's, I really like that moment. Oh. And then you get that just like quick death, like super quick death within just like two, sh- three shots. You get the, the reaction to, um, uh, to DJ's, um, mortar shot you get his failed uh reaction right and then this that like overhead like quick cut to like an explosion and then and then you get this like uh this wide where um i framed it in a way where you he would fall right in front of the camera in the foreground Team kill tacular. Well, there you go. Um, simple, fun, but straight to the point, you know. Uh, and that was the director's commentary for Open Lobby Season One, Episode Four: Two Tanks. Thanks for watching.